This is the Samsung Behold, a new touchscreen device with a 5 megapixel camera for T-Mobile. Let's take a quick spin around the hardware. You can see it has a generously sized screen on the front that is touch sensitive. We also have several buttons. These buttons are uh, nicely raised above the surface so you can tell exactly where they are when you press them. On the left side of the phone you have the volume toggle up here at the top. Good travel and feedback. And here is the Samsung proprietary uh, data and charging port. Lanyard loop here. And on the right side of the phone we have the two-stage camera button as well as the unlock button. On the back you can see the uh, camera itself as well as flash and vanity mirror. Uh, the back panel comes off in an interesting way. We've never seen a design quite like this. Slide this a little bit uh, to the left and the metal backing peels off. You can see the SIM card here and access to the micro SD slot there uh, which you do have to remove the battery to actually get at. So that's a look at the hardware. Let's take a look at the new TouchWiz user interface which Samsung has recently brought to the US market. This is the basic home screen of the Behold uh, as, as, as realized by the TouchWiz user interface. You can see some um, permanent icons here along the bottom that take you to your phone, the phone book, the web, and uh, the main menu. You can see a little arrow sticking out here. This arrow, when touched, opens the dock. This dock is where you have shortcuts or, or, or widgets to many of the phone's different applications. For example, we can see the music player here. If we drag the music player onto the main screen, uh, it, it sort of opens the, um, opens the program itself. If we were to push play, you'll see that it immediately jumps into one of the songs that we have in our playlist. We can also stop that and toss it back into the dock. Now, you can add as many programs as you wish to the home screen. Uh, in fact, we'll just drag a whole bunch out here and uh, and see what it looks like. So you can see basically anything we care to drag and drop onto the home screen, uh, we can do so. So uh, it's fun and neat and lets you personalize the phone uh, and you can control where any of the widgets are within the dock itself, which slides up and down so that you can see uh, see everything that's in there. Of course, if we press the main menu button, you'll see a uh, standard grid. Uh, unfortunately, you can't change the way this is viewed. A grid is the only uh, way you can look at this. The settings menu, uh, a typical list, and uh, you know many of the phone settings are in here. You can uh, change just about anything you can think of. Looking at the music player, uh, we have a pretty decent user interface. You can see the buttons here are optimized for uh, for your fingers. Um, you can easily set um, songs your, from your MP3 list as ringtones uh, or alarms. And um, you can uh, make some adjustments to the songs themselves, uh, you know, including graphic equalizer and, uh, and how you view the music menu. And uh, so that's a quick look at the music player. Let's jump into the camera itself, uh, especially since there's a 5 megapixel camera on board here. Holding the phone sideways, you can see we have uh, lots of different options on either side here, thanks to uh, the uh, way Samsung has devised this menu. Uh, it goes away after a few seconds, and simply touching the screen will bring it right back. You can see the zooming bar here. And if we care to change some settings of the phone, it's pretty easy to make a number of different uh, adjustments to the way the camera behaves. Take a picture. You can see that uh, it was a little bit slow to take a picture. Uh, it, takes a, it takes a second or so to focus and then snap the picture. Uh, in our experience with this phone as we reviewed it, it, it could take up to five seconds to focus and fire a picture. Here's the full gallery as seen in the file system of the Behold. Uh, you can do all sorts of different things, creating folders uh, on both the phone and the memory card. You can uh, move photos wherever you wish and uh, you can also uh, do all sorts of crazy things like send them uh, via Bluetooth, lock images, rename them, and so on. Selecting an image, bring it up here on the screen, and you can see uh, we have a, a, a zoom capability. We can choose to zoom in or out and uh, perform a lot of the same actions that uh, we saw on the, uh, 
uh, on the uh, gallery screen. And of course we can swipe through our library if we wish. So while viewing each image, of course, you can uh, perform all sorts of different actions, including, uh, you know, perform different sorts of edits, uh, which is kind of nice. You can see we've got um, lots of different uh, options for editing pictures. We've got all sorts of effects, uh, adjustments we can make, uh, changing the size and stuff, as well as cropping it and inserting it. Uh, you know, to within a frame and stuff like that. So lots of options with the camera and uh, the camera software itself is, is, is very capable. Looking quickly at the phone application, pressing the phone button will bring up a uh, standard dial pad. Of course, if you hit the green button, you'll see a list of calls. You can see some shortcuts here. Uh, this will bring you to your call list, your voicemail, uh, set up a message, and of course, go to your contacts list. If we dial a number, You'll see that it uh, pops up there, and if we hit uh, the send button, uh, this is what a call looks like. And once the call connects, you'll see a number of different options for uh, interacting with the phone while you're still on the phone call. And of course, the more button will let you access a few other things while during the call. You can see the T-Mobile homepage here. The star button takes you to your list of bookmarks, and there are a bunch preloaded in here, which is pretty nice. The go to button will bring up an uh, address bar so that you can uh, automatically jump to websites. And of course, if we rotate the phone sideways, you'll see the full QWERTY keyboard show up. And uh, same keyboard, of course, shows up in the, in, in the messaging application. We can switch back quite easily. And, uh, and uh, that is the, uh, the browser. You can also size it so that the browser fills the whole screen and you get rid of the uh, navigation tools. And uh, you can also uh, save images and, and copy the URL directly to a message, which is always a handy feature. So that is a brief look at the Behold from Samsung for T-Mobile.